So after two whole years and tons of delays, the insanely talented team over at Spider-Man Lotus finally released their highly anticipated fan film. Probably the most anticipated fan film I've ever seen. Promising to be a story that follows Peter's struggles after losing Gwen and focusing on the guilt he feels because of it. The movie merges a few comics together, those of which are Spider-Man Blue, the kid that collects Spider-Man, a comic in which Harry has a drug addiction, and of course, the death of Gwen Stacy. Gavin J. Connaught, the director behind this project, was able to raise over a hundred grand and he did not miss when it came to the production design. The suits were all terrific, Spidey has never looked as good in a fan film, and in my opinion was even better than some of the suits that we've seen in the MCU. The set design and locations were all phenomenal, it truly felt like a New York setting, and I didn't for once stop and remember that this was a fan film, as I was fully immersed in the story. My only issue with the movie, and this may just be a me problem, it's not even anything to do with the actual movie, it was the fact that the movie was stuck in 1080p, and it wasn't in 2160, I'm not really sure why, it made some scenes hard to see as the quality wasn't as crisp, I'm not sure why it's not in 4K, maybe it's just YouTube being stupid, however, I believe it should have been for a better viewing. I hope that one day maybe Gavin can release a link to access a 4K version of the movie. But yeah, aside from that and a few nitpicks, this is truly my only critique of the film. I have to say the opening 15 minutes of this movie, god damn. The scenes between all our beloved characters were amazing. The performances absolutely blew me away. Everyone from Warden Wayne, Tion Powell, Sean Thomas Reed, and Mariah Brooklyn absolutely smashed it out of the park. Their acting was truly top notch. I felt the sadness and emotions that Pete was feeling. I felt the anger and rage Harry was going through. I felt the loneliness, the striding to have that safety net with Mary Jane. I felt the love that Peter and Gwen shared. As I mentioned, the opening 15 minutes were absolutely fantastic. Now the movie is about an hour, an hour and 45 minutes long, uh, which is not including credits, but it could have used maybe just a few extra moments in the script and scenes to really completely and fully flesh out certain characters. I really enjoyed the stuff that they did with Harry and his addiction. The scene of him and Mary Jane in the car was terrifically thought out and amazingly performed. However, it's after that the storyline just sort of ends, we didn't really get to see how far Harry could slip into his addiction. We never saw him realise how much Peter and MJ cared for him to pull him back from the darkness. However, the resolvement of the story and the final 10 to 15 minutes was absolute perfection. Completely comic accurate, the final swing, the ending of hope and enjoyment, enthrallment, it was all remarkable, it truly felt like Spider-Man to me. It felt as though he had been brought back from the depths of hell, and he had turned his grief and his pain and used it to make him a stronger man. In my opinion, the opening 15 and closing 15 minutes of the movie were definitely the strongest parts. They really connected with me. The movie definitely had some strong emotional moments and key character moments uh, throughout the movie, especially with Peter and Mary Jane, Flash and MJ, Peter and Harry. There are some really remarkable moments in the movie. However, I feel maybe the pacing could have used a little work. Some of these scenes with Tim Harrison and the flashbacks maybe drag on just a hair too long. I like the inclusion of Peter's origin, but the whole montage of newspaper articles after was a little bit too long for me and could have been either trimmed or replaced with another scene that could have fleshed out Peter's character more. In my opinion, I would have liked to have seen more conflict between Harry, Peter and MJ regarding Harry's drug addiction. I feel that the overall story was just so well done, I just feel the ending of Harry's drug addiction story just didn't quite stick the landing, and I think a few more scenes would have made that story even better. However, concerning the main story of Peter's tragic loss of Gwen, trying to turn that loss, that tragedy, into something hopeful through his own self-perception and Tim's perception, I thought it worked really fantastic. I really enjoyed the conversations they shared together and the scenes that they had, even the tragedy that strikes when Tim unfortunately passes away. This isn't even to mention the absolutely impeccable work done by the VFX artists. The swinging scenes were remarkable, the effects from Shocker's Blast and Goblins were spectacular, and I have never seen Spidey look this good in a fan project. Overall, this movie was absolutely amazing. I was eagerly awaiting this, and the hype levels were beyond amazing, 
And even though people have had mixed reviews on the movie, I want to thank each and every member of the crew for delivering something truly great and showing to us that dreams can be possible. I want to give a big thank you to Gavin and Warden and Mariah and Tian for your incredible devotion, acting, directing, you all did such an amazing job. And whether it's a Lotus sequel or another indie movie, I'll be there to check out whatever you guys produce next, because I truly loved your rendition of all the different characters, the love and passion that you have for the movie. And in my opinion, the movie for me is definitely a solid 9 out of 10. If the movie was in 4K, I can bet your bottom dollar it would be a 10. But until then, what a remarkable movie. I couldn't have been more satisfied with how things ended. And of course, make sure to let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. What was your personal enjoyment of the movie? Try and keep it to the movie, guys. Thank you all so much for stopping by. And I'll be sure to catch everyone in the next video. Peace.